what exactly we're talking about here with the FBI and the DOJ? What exactly are they doing? Yeah, so it seems like it's an investigation that's in its early stages. They're looking at whether um, these sites are breaking any laws, specifically the 2006 law, uh, which is actually the basis of these sites' uh, exist, uh, existence, essentially. They say there's no, there was an exception for fantasy sports in the law that outlaws um, gambling online. Okay, so this is the online gambling legislation yep. that was passed in Congress, right? Yep. Okay, and it made a, 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 a carve-out for, for sports betting. Uh, for fantasy for sports. Fantasy, it said me, that fantasy, fantasy sports, sports was betting. not sports was betting. Was not, okay, all right. Um, and so if, uh, if you know, the federal government finds that, in fact, these sites do not meet that definition, that's going to be a big problem for them. Uh, okay, so, Seth, uh, th if this all goes back to 2006 and, 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 you know, and, and it says very clearly that it's not illegal to bet in fantasy sports, then what exactly is going on here? Well, that's a great question. Technically, the 2006 law didn't really say that it wasn't illegal. It exempted fantasy sports from Internet gambling, and it allowed states, as it wished, to authorize it. Forty-five states have authorized it. Five have prohibited it. Now we have a situation with dual investigations going on on the federal and state levels uh, through the Justice Department and through the New York and Massachusetts Attorney General's Office, and the allegations are fraud. Those allegations regarding fraud include allegations, for example, that an executive at DraftKings put out information telling people how to shift money around to uh, avoid the uh, criminal prohibitions, the right. uh, prohibitions of uh, betting in the states that are illegal. This is a huge storm cloud that is headed towards fantasy sports and now you have the Justice Department and the FBI lifting up the hood and finding a lot of potential violations related to fraud. Okay, but but this is when we were talking about this in our news meeting uh, earlier, Seth. What exactly right. is illegal? Because uh, I understand the whole idea that you're taking inside information, you know, which is allegedly what one of these executives did, right? He took inside information or, 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 or whatnot and, and bet on another site and therefore earned something like $350,000. So it's, it's kind of like insider right. trading. But if you're just going on there to bet on fantasy, like what's illegal about that? The reason it may be illegal is that potential fraud flows into potential violations of federal criminal statutes that I believe are going to be the subject of a federal grand jury proceeding. You're going to be looking at a grand jury uh, review of potential uh, wire fraud, mail fraud, and a criminal conspiracy. And the reason why that could occur is because you have allegations that people are fraudulently using information in the background uh, and they are okay. basically using inside information and committing fraud and taking other people's money. Uh, Seth, is this just about FanDuel and DraftKings? Because there's other companies that uh, allow you to bet on fantasy sports. Well, the specific well, insider trading uh, uh, allegations have been about those two companies, specifically a DraftKings employee playing on FanDuel. FanDuel right. What we've seen is there's this industry has not been regulated at all, and there's been really no uh, prohibitions and really um, no culture of not playing on other sites. So. Okay. People were essentially not playing on their own sites, but going any, to any other site and playing, and that's an industry-wide problem. Um, we've seen both of those two companies have stopped, have said their employees cannot do that anymore, right. as has as had Yahoo. But, but what's the difference between that and, let's say, uh, betting on fantasy teams on ESPN.com or on CBS? I mean, what's the difference here? Is there a difference? Well, these are, these are much more akin to gambling and the fact that you can put down a dollar, you know, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and turn it into, you know, $50 by 11 o'clock that night. It's, it's less of a season-long thing, which is, you know, um, it's a big difference. Okay, Seth, uh, are you hearing anything uh, about lawmakers taking this issue up? Could we see a revisit of, of online sports betting in Congress? Absolutely. There is discussion here in Congress, here in Washington, D.C., about that very issue. They're uh, calling for investigations both on Capitol Hill and at the Federal Trade Commission. And I think that you're also going to see more discussions that are going to be related to uh, Commissioner Goodell and the National Football League. This is going to be a scandal that's just starting to explode. Why are um, players like Tony Romo and Des Bryant prohibited and recently thrown out of a Vegas uh, program for uh, uh, fantasy sports betting on the one hand? 
while the owners of the New England Patriots and the Dallas Cowboys are allowed to invest directly in an industry that makes money betting off of their players that may be under indictment, you're absolutely going to be seeing a lot going on uh, in Capitol question. Hill and yeah. Justice Department. Uh, very good question. All right, Seth, thank you so much for joining us. Seth uh, Barron's Zweig, sports okay. attorney in Washington. Also, Josh Brustein, thank you for joining us as well.